Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in. We have the U Unicorn smartphone with us right now. It has just been launched in India. It is the newest offering from U. The phone costs $12,999 and that is a special price for Flipkart for the first month. The phone will sell on Flipkart of course, but after the first month it will go up to $14,999. Uh, the phone has a 13 megapixel camera on the back, a 5 megapixel camera on the front, a 1.8 gigahertz MediaTek Helio P10 processor, a 5.5 inch full HD display and a 4000 mAh battery. And according to you, this phone will run for 4 days on its 4000 mAh battery, which is kind of a tall claim and we'll have to check it out. U also has the newest OS from uh, the company. It does not run on Cyanogen anymore. This is the new, uh, what U calls Android on steroids, AOS operating system. It is more or less stock. You can see there are some uh, cosmetic changes. For example, the browser looks different. You have the messaging which looks kind of different. The icons look different. And of course, the biggest part of this OS is this feature called Around You. You can of course uh, book cabs and look at you know restaurants around you, look at click bus scores and things like that. What has changed this time with Around You 2.0 which comes with AOS is that you do not actually need to have these cab apps on your phone in order to book cabs. You can actually book an Ola Mini right from uh, the Around You screen. You don't actually need to have the Ola or Uber apps here. The same goes for food and all but we'll have to test it out. You can see that I'm getting scores from trickbuzz.com. I don't have the trickbuzz app of course. Also the music player this time is going to be Ghana which was the same as uh, you saw in the U Utopia earlier. So that tie up con continues. So Ghana is the default music player on this. But overall the phone pretty much runs on a stock like UI. You have the marshmallow you know vertical app scholar. The Phone though does not run on Android Marshmallow, which is kind of sad. It runs on Android Lollipop right now. And uh, you has promised a new update to Marshmallow very soon. Although we have no dates or timeline on when that will be available. On first impressions, yes, uh, the phone does have a metallic body, but yes, it does look a lot like your Mizu M3 Note or even the Redmi Note 3 to some extent. You have the round camera sensor here. You have uh, the antenna lines here. You have a button, uh, the volume rocker and the power button on the right hand side of the device. There's of course the fingerprint sensor here, which is also a button. Uh, although this is a first impression, so we haven't set up the fingerprint sensor here. But given the fact that this is a button, it means that if the screen is off, you would ideally not be able to use this without turning the display on, uh, which is kind of a bummer for fingerprint sensors. But then again, it is something that many people have done and uh, we'll have to see how slow or fast or you know how good the fingerprint sensor is when we review it. On first impressions, the phone does seem like a pretty quintessential budget device. Uh, I'm not very convinced about how this is going to turn out to be. Uh, the Helio P10, we are yet to test and uh, we would like to find out how powerful this phone can be. The camera on first impressions look kind, looks kind of lackluster. Having said that, the Redmi Note 3 doesn't really have a very good camera either. Uh, but the Moto G4 I think does little better in the sense that the Moto G4 and Redmi Note 3 are both faster and uh, they, you know, faster in both senses, both focusing time and shutter speed. And uh, at least on the phone's display, images don't look like the sharpest images possible. But of course, we'll have to test it out before we, you know, find out. So that's been a first impressions of the U Unicorn smartphone. We will be testing this out and you can expect a review very, very soon. Yes.